Hello, what I have here is a Citroen Picasso C4 uh, 2008 1.6 HDI car has a smoke, smoking problem um, looking at the car I'm using a snap on Verus I have a Autel as well but I found the Autel wasn't allowing me to look at some of the parameters on it for some reason now two faults logged on the car is the EGR and the preheating relay I've already had a wee bit of a look at this car and I don't suspect the EGR electro valve to be causing the problem although it can make a car smoky um, there's other pro problems with this car um, going into the data of the car under the fuel what I have found with this car is I'm just changing some of the parameters here I want to look at the fuel system one of the things I've found with the fuel system took me a while to find this was the injector number three now I've already replaced this injector on the car um, the reason why as you can see it's not moving you hold it the other three will move but not injector three for some reason it's just flatlining and that's the other injectors and as you can see number three injector is just not moving at all now the one thing that I found with this car which led me to replacing the ECU was because of this I already had done a continuity check between the ECU and the injector and it had passed the continuity test so I suspected an ECU and the reason why I suspected an ECU I'll show you now I had a turbo replaced and the reason why I had a turbo replaced this is a 110 brake horsepower with a variable vane turbo the turbo that was on the car was actually a 90 brake horsepower turbo now from what I can see the engine's been replaced on the car and what I think the guy the previous guy has done he has replaced not replaced the ECU he has changed the software in this particular ECU that belongs to the car and why I say that is I don't want to put the guy's name on it here there's a sticker on it so it actually says to me that the software has possibly been changed on this ECU so what I did I bought an ECU off eBay I think it was 20 quid so I removed the immobilizer from this ECU so I'm going to try it I have tried this already and the ECU does work at some point I will do a, a video on how to remove the immobilizer from an ECU um, all ECUs are different so you would have to acquire the proper software for that particular ECU as I say I had looked at this previously and uh, I had changed number three injector with number two and it made no difference so I ruled out the injector but also what I found in number three injector there was two copper washers and I actually, I actually just put a, a ruler across the top of this and that's how I was able to tell that it was a second washer in there when I took the injector out there was a washer on it but there was also one lying down in the combustion chamber so I changed it now
this will change the parameters of the immobilizer system on the car. Now, it's surprising what you come up against with cars. This was a car that was sold to a guy and he bought it because the car was cheap and uh, it didn't turn out that cheap because it had to get a turbo um, but that has it sorted and for a £20 ECU that has this sorted as well somebody has put uh, an ECU into this but as you can see that has now allowed that The other thing that was the problem with this car was no power on it but as you can see the injectors are starting to adjust the injectors on a, a Citroen I am okay with them going up to about five a difference of five between them um, once I go over that I would down an injector but the injectors aren't too bad I would leave them at that possibly with the car sitting as well isn't helping and it having that double washer which would have clogged the, the injector so if this is driven for a while I would imagine this will come more in the sequence and possibly a wee drop of fuel additive put into it this is just a quick video I didn't want to go through the full diagnostic with it because it wasn't a five minute diagnose um, it was just a gut feeling I had on this injector and why it wasn't or ECU sorry and I had a gut feeling on the ECU of why it wasn't performing and that's what it turned out to be that obviously somebody has mapped it now I can't prove the map that's in the car um, because I've nothing to compare it to uh, but I would be 90% sure that the, the that ECU has been mapped and it's been mapped from a 110 brake horsepower down to an 80 brake horsepower because they put an 80 brake horsepower engine in the car thinking that that would cure the problem but obviously it wouldn't but uh, as you can see the smoke was the biggest thing on the car but I'm just looking out the mirror of the car and I actually don't see any smoke coming out of it there's a wee bit but nothing compared to what was there before so hopefully that's this sorted um, and thanks for watching